it's an American story. This is what makes America tick, that these people would bring in new ideas and new vitality. Basically, you're taking these people and throwing them out into a wilderness. In what was then Imperial Russia, they had settled Jewish people together in one area that we now call the Pale of Settlement. And so there was just a lot of uncertainty and insecurity for Jews that were living in that area. After uh, Tsar Nicholas II died, they had the crack beaten out of them. Maybe I shouldn't say that <laughs> on film, but uh, it seemed like a good place to get out of fast. Here you had a group of people who wore funny clothes, spoke a funny language, so they knew absolutely nothing about farming. And they dropped themselves down in the middle of a mosquito-ridden sandy soil with stumps that have to be removed. And we were taking some of the roughest, toughest land to grow things on. This is the Pine Barrens. For generations, American farmers kept away from the Pine Barrens. It's called Barrens because it's barren for agricultural production. They took this land that was nothing and they've made it into something. To this day, if I tell people, oh, I studied for my dissertation Jewish farmers, people say, huh, they've never heard of Jewish farmers. Jewish farmers? To my knowledge, you know, the narrative was always Jews came to Ellis Island, they went to the Lower East Side, they worked in factories, maybe they went to other cities, but that our story here was urban. They uh, took to the land and left all their skills and everything behind. Um, so I can only imagine it was difficult. The first two years of the colony, there was only two horses for the 40 or 50 families that were supposed to farm. But then they were also very dependent uh, on Hashem, the good Lord, sending the right weather at the right time. Every summer, they would gather or reap all of the fruit and the vegetables and it would all be brought into the sweet potato house. It was basically an open wooden building and they would prepare it for market. In 1882, an unlikely group of Russian Jews traveled across the world to form a farming colony in America. They settled in New Jersey and began the experiment of a lifetime. This is 